For this life I cannot change Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today I'm doing something a little bit different than my normal content. Today I'm actually going to be trying Pinterest and TikTok inspired crafts, DIYs, and trends I've just been seeing. I've been wanting to make some of these for a while now and I might as well film a video of me trying to do some of these things and maybe you guys have been wanting to try them as well. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun filming it and let's just get on into it. The first thing I'm going to be making is clay rings. I've been seeing these all over TikTok and Pinterest. Here's some inspiration on the sides of the screen for you guys. Clay rings have really just been popping off recently. I don't know. I got some clay from Michaels that I'm going to be molding into some rings. I also set up my second camera here so you guys can see what's going on on my desk because you can't really see in this camera. So I'm first going to take off the rings I already have on. I got the color purple and then I got white, black, and brown. I also got pink. Also, excuse the mess of beads and charms right here. That will be for later. I'm going to be using this picture as inspiration. I don't know. It has some good ideas. So I guess I'll open up purple first. The last time I touched clay was probably all the way back in middle school. I haven't seen any YouTube videos or TikToks on how to make clay rings. I've only ever seen pictures of them, so we're really winging it. I could look up a tutorial, but do I want to? No, because I'm lazy. I just got the brand Craft Smart. I don't know. It was like one of the cheapest things they had there. It's surprisingly not really sticky and kind of dry, which I honestly prefer. I didn't really want it to stain or get anywhere. The picture, it's like more rectangular. I'll use a highlighter. I don't know. It's actually doing a really good job. And I guess I'll just measure my finger. Wait a second. I had lower expectations for this. I really didn't think this was going to be this easy. How do I get it off though? I guess for the heart, I'll do pink. So I'll open up pink. This is looking turning out pretty good so far. I don't want to hype myself up too much because we're probably only like two minutes into the video, but it's actually turning out a whole lot better than what I thought. So I'm going to roll this into a ball really quick. Roll it out again with the Sharpie. Hmm, how am I going to cut this out? Maybe I'll use one of these jewelry tools I have. I'm gonna use one of these eyelet things for jewelry, but I'm just gonna use it because it has a sharp edge that I can cut the clay with. This is as good as it's gonna get. It looks much better on camera probably because you can't pick up all the minor details, but I'm not gonna spend like three hours per ring, so we're gonna get moving here. ring is now done. I just placed it over here if you can see it. I'm actually gonna twist this extra purple right here. I'm just like twisting what I had right there into like this spiral. Okay, that's actually kind of a cute ring. This is, this so, is so hard, hard to do hard with acrylics. acrylics and I also apologize because my nails are really grown out right now and this video is focused around my hands. Come on, there you go. Wrap it around the Sharpie again. Now I'm gonna make the ears by making two little round balls and then putting another round ball of pink inside of it. That's how the photo is doing it, so that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm now gonna use the black to put the eyes and nose and mouth on. So here's the little bear. It could be better. He looks more like a mouse than a bear, and I really think it's the ears. That's a mouse. Whatever. Now I'm gonna make a pink ring and then like cross braid them in a sense. We're really just experiencing this whole entire video. I'm using the two thin strands to make one big ring. Okay, so let's cross these two over. This is actually very, very cute. It reminds me of bread. This one is possibly my favorite so far. I kind of want to make that one white because I haven't opened up the white yet. I think I'm going to try to make like a vine type ring where it like wraps halfway kind of around your finger in like a cool kind of way. This is like the worst way to ever make a ring. Okay, this just took a turn. I don't know how I feel about this one yet, but I'm going to get back to you guys once I make all these rings and then put them in the oven. I walked you through a few of them that I made, but I'm just going to get back to you guys after. Here's all the finished products of the rings. I made 11 rings in total and now it's time to put them in the oven and bake them. So on the back of one of these clay things, it says bake at 275 for 15 minutes per one fourth inch of thickness. So I guess I'll put it in there for 15 minutes and see what it looks like. I just put the clay rings in 
the oven for 15 minutes and now I'm gonna be starting on the next craft which is a phone beat strap I've been seeing these so much now and they're like this trendy phone strap thing and you put it on your case it's mostly for decoration I don't know how practical it actually is so I got a lot of beads I got even these little fun ones with like roses and then these other little funky like flower ones and then these beads as well so first we should probably measure this out I'm going to basically take this line of elastic I have a knot at the bottom I'm just going to start by beading this up it's just gonna be like this basically with all these little fun beads let's start off with the pink actually because I'm actually obsessed with these beads look at what I found at Michael's guys they are literal roses and just as I start the rings are ready I will be right back I'm kind of just mapping out the idea of my phone strap on my desk I'm gonna open up these pearls I was saving them for the rings and other crafts but I kind of want to put them in here so I just finished threading the first phone strap, put a knot right here. Now that that's all tied, I'm going to cut off. Now I basically just kind of have like a little bracelet thingy and then take it and do that. There we go. And now I can put this like on my phone. It's kind of cute. I wish I used a different thread, but now onto the blue one. I basically just planned everything out on my desk and now time to thread this one up. tie it right here and also i'm sorry about the lighting i did not realize this video was going to take me that long to film and we're only on the second thing okay this is probably my favorite this is the blue one and then at the bottom i added a little angel charm along with two pink roses so here are the two phone straps i totally forgot that i got these beads like clay kind of beads and i totally forgot to use them on this but it's okay you can see when i have it on my phone it's gonna look like that and then the longer one is like this i've been sitting here like for hours filming this video I didn't realize it was gonna take me that long especially those clay <laughs> It is the next day now. Yesterday, I got a little lazy with making these things. Well, not lazy. I underestimated how much time consuming these projects would take. I will show you guys the clay rings and the phone straps all at the end of this video along with the rest of the projects as like a final reveal. We also have the coffee here, which is pretty much done, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> so let's get on with maybe the rings. Here's some examples of the flower rings I'm talking about. They're like beaded little seeded rings. And I Googled some YouTube video tutorials on how to make this it looks a little tricky so hopefully i get the hang out of it yeah let's get going on that so i'm first going to take some fishing line i would use the elastic but the pearls that i want to use the holes are too small for the elastic width that i have okay i think i'm going to do a pearls and then the pink if you just google beaded flower ring a lot of tutorials come up so that's what i did so the first thing she did in the tutorial is i don't know why i'm trying to show you in this camera i have a camera looking down at my desk what i'm doing basically is putting four beads on the string string right here and then after you have those four you're gonna put on the center bead this is basically what it's looking like can you even see that you loop it through the last petal bead so like the fourth one I'm doing a horrible job explaining this I already know okay I kind of see where this is gonna go it's like a half flower you should have something like this I guess and then you're gonna put on three more petal beads after doing this so I guess I was supposed to put the other three petals on the other side of the flower so we're gonna take out those three beads and put it on the other side so I'm now just gonna loop it through here wait hold Hold up, it actually looks like a flower. Wait, that's actually a flower. Okay, I'm back and I finished the first ring. I actually had to start over because when I was tying it, the whole thing literally broke. I was being a little too aggressive with it, but I redid it. Here's what it looks like. It's literally the cutest ring ever. I'm so obsessed with it and I'm so excited to start making more. It's so cute and so aesthetic. aesthetic. It's been a bit and I did three rings actually. Let me show you guys. You guys saw the pink one and so I did a little blue flower one as well. So I have two little flower rings going on right here with the pearls. And then I also did this cute little rose ring. I used one of the rose beads that I had that I got specifically for the phone strap. I think it is the cutest thing ever. You guys don't honestly need a tutorial for this. I just put them all on a strand of elastic and then tied it at the bottom here. That's all what I did. Although I have been getting the hang of doing the flower thing. Now I'm getting confident and giving you guys a tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is thread four beads of your petal choice. Now that you have on your strand four little beads, you're going to now choose the middle of it. You're gonna thread it backwards into that first bead you placed on and then tighten it. Now you should have something kind of like this. You can see that light pink bead in the center. You're gonna thread three more white beads on going through the other side. And you kind of have like this open flower. 
you're gonna thread the end of this back up into that white bead right there kind of like that and then tie it together and there you should have a little flower right about now and then basically just add on the rest of your beads So I just finished all of these cute little rings. I made this really cute butterfly one. I'm actually obsessed with it. And then I also did this key one. I should have put another ring on it or whatever before I put on the charm because it doesn't lay flat as you can see. So kind of disappointing, but it's okay. This is like my little collection so far and I'm really, really excited about it because I'm definitely gonna be making more of them. But now on to the last thing we're gonna be doing, which is necklaces. I've been seeing a lot of these like seeded necklaces. It gives me like these boho kind of like outer banks. Like it reminds me of that whole era when everyone was obsessed with that show and we were doing like the like friendship bracelet type stuff. I think we're gonna be making a necklace with these periwinkle purple beads. I think it would be really cute with the pearls and have this mix with these two beads and then also this little charm. Once again, I'm just using this like fishing wire cord because my elastic is too thick for these pearl beaded things. You're also gonna need one of these little things like the opener clasp. You can just find those clip things anywhere at Michael's. I've been filming for four hours and I'm finally done with this one necklace that I did. I'm actually obsessed with it and I'm gonna wear this a lot. I just did the blue and then the white pearls. I also added this pearl angel charm. As of right now, I really don't wanna sit here and make more. And I'm sure you guys don't wanna hear me talk through making more and more jewelry because it's been a while. So now I'm just gonna talk about what we actually did in this video. So the first thing that you guys are looking at is the clay rings. I actually really, really liked how these turned out. I didn't think that they were gonna turn out this good, to be honest. So fun and so trendy because a lot of people are doing these right now. Next thing is the phone bead straps or phone strap things. I don't know what you would wanna call these, but I actually really, really like these. Don't know how practical these actually are to hold your phone and protect it, but I think it's like such a cute like jewelry statement to put on your phone. It's like giving your phone a necklace to look at it that way. Probably my favorite thing that I made out of this whole entire video are the beaded rings. I am gonna be wearing these a lot. I just know it. And I think they're really, really pretty and elegant looking. And then lastly, I have this necklace. Although you guys are gonna see another necklace I made. I haven't made it yet, but I do have plans to make another one. I really, really like the angel one, especially the blue and the pearls. I just think it's so elegant and pretty looking. I really, really like the necklaces and so excited to wear them throughout the summer and spring. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's just been such a long experience of us just sitting down down together and making some jewelry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some inspiration. Maybe this inspires you guys to also make some of these crafts. Highly recommend all of them. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more craft, Pinterest, TikTok videos, I don't know, give it a like. I would really appreciate that as well. And if you watched all the way up to the point of this video, thank you so much. Comment down below this emoji. It's the secret emoji I always do at the end of my videos. At least I try to remember to do one. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.